Hey guys, this is the continuation video of the first video. Um, I didn't want to make it over because I only have a little bit of charge left here. Anyway, the fat cop said, um, your kids are gone, you're never going to see them again. You know, they threaten this all the time. They threaten my kids, but I'm not scared. So the military and the government are basically like the man behind the curtain. You know, they could be behind a butterfly towel even. And then you lift up the curtain, like Wizard of Oz, and you realize that it's just some old man with no energy that's stealing sexual energy by molesting children, like they do in the Catholic Church. <laughs> that's, you know, that's who's run the world, and that's who these people give 10% of their income to, okay? I'm done with the games, people. Um, people are actually paying attention now. People are conscious. Um, that cop tried to hurt me. Like they try to hurt me every five minutes, every one minute, you know. All I can do is go into nature and I usually don't have what I need. Like right now I'm dehydrated and I need to go to town and deal with these people. And no one will help me except I've got huge, huge, huge support on the other side. And that is what has gotten me through this, okay? And the love for my children is what got me through this. Matthew, Joshua, and Astara, they're the loves of my life, and I will never, ever, ever stop until I get them. So even if I have to starve, even if I have to get beat up, even if I have to be hurt on a daily basis every minute, I will have my happy angel family back because you had no right to tear us apart and you had no right to hurt an angel mother and her children. And you will pay times 10 for what you've done. Anyone who knew about this, who didn't help me, will also pay because I asked you for help. So the military is nothing but an old man stealing energy. Stand in your power, people. Be who you are and shine your light and draw a line and set some boundaries against this. I know you're nice like me, but you know what? You have to choose a side right now. You have to choose the innocent. You have to choose what's right, and you have to stand against what's wrong, or you're condoning it. If you just stand there and don't do nothing, you're condoning it, and then you get no more nothing, okay? All right, people, peace out. I'm going to try to get some um, beverages. not easy. The wind starts blowing and all that crazy stuff. I just want to show you this pretty. Okay, Russia. Russian Ford is now Angels Ford because we're going to clean up the land and do what's right, people.